In this video, we are going to talk about Nick Kyrgios. We will dig a little deeper into the lifestyle and background of Nick and discover some shocking facts. Facts such as our tennis bad boy is actually a prince. Didn't you know that? Wait till you hear the rest of it. Background Nicholas Hilmi Kyrgios is an Australian by birth. He was born on 27 April 1995 in Canberra, the country's capital city. He has a very interesting background as his father is Greek and his mother is from a Malaysian aristocratic family. She was a princess, which technically makes Nick a prince. However, she dropped her title of a princess when she moved to Australia. It is a bit surprising to know that Nick used to play basketball and he was good enough to represent Australia in basketball. This also tells us that Nick has been into sports since he was a child. However, when he turned 14, he decided to focus solely on tennis. Nick was able to bag a scholarship at the Australian Institute of Sport, where he polished his skills. Nick Kyrgios' net worth Nick's net worth is estimated to be $15 million, which includes his luxurious home in Canberra, Australia, and his car collection. Nick has won almost $9 million in prize money over his career. Kyrgios owns a home in the Bahamas in addition to his home in Canberra. He bought the house in Canberra for $583,000. The Canberra house has three bathrooms, four bedrooms, and a game room. It has a large backyard and a covered deck. The Bahamas home is little known because it is primarily his vacation destination. Aside from the typical cars owned by athletes, such as Mercedes-Benz C-Class and BMW M3, Curios' prized possessions include the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, Nissan R35 GTR, and Tesla Model X. He has almost half a million dollars in cars. Nick is also an investor. Apart from investing in digital platforms, he is also the founder of Player's Voice, which is a sports athlete media company. Endorsements Nick's attractive facial features help him attract owners who want to make him the face of their companies and feature him in commercials. Kyrgios currently has endorsement deals with Yonex, Nike, and the headphone company Beats. In the past, his bad boy image cost him some endorsements. Bonds, an Australian clothing company, ended their partnership with him during his 2015 controversies. Malaysian Airlines decided to distance itself from Nick after being suspended and fined for tanking in the Shanghai Rolex Masters in 2016. Tennis Journey At the age of 13, Kyrgios competed in his first junior match at a Grade 4 tournament in Australia in 2008. At the age of 15, he won his first ITF Junior Tour Championship in Fiji in June 2010. Nick became even more serious about tennis and began to play on the Junior Tour more frequently in 2011, making his Junior Grand Slam debut at the 2011 Australian Open. In 2012, he won two Junior Grand Slam doubles titles and climbed to the Junior World No. 3. He started defeating famous names in tennis and Nick was continuously rising in ranks. He was standing at the first Junior ranking after defeating Wayne Montgomery in the Traralgon International Final. Nick also bagged his first Junior Grand Slam title after beating Tanasi Kokonakis. Nick turned pro in 2012 at the age of 17 and won his first Challenger Tour title at the 2013 Nature's Way Sydney Tennis International, defeating fellow Australian Matt Reed in straight sets in the finals. However, it wasn't until the 2014 Wimbledon that Nick made his mark on the world. Nick defeated Frenchman Stéphane Robert in four sets in the first round and the 13 seed Richard Gasquet in the second round. He then defeated Yuri Veseli in the third round before defeating world number one Rafael Nadal in four sets to become the first male debutante to reach the Wimbledon quarterfinals since Florian Meyer in 2004. Fun Facts As we mentioned earlier, Nick defeated Rafael Nadal, but do you know? Nick is the first teenager to beat a number one at a Grand Slam since 2005. And guess who did it in 2005? It was Rafael Nadal himself, defeating Roger Federer at the 2005 French Open. It is not only that, this is the first time a player born in the 1990s has defeated Nadal. He is known as a bad boy for a reason. He has a long history of receiving penalties, fines and blowing off steam for the silliest of reasons. He's abused officials, the umpire, the line judge and even the ball kids, calling them names, swearing at them and hurling objects at them, whether intentional or not. However, in a social media post about mental health, Nick Kyrgios revealed his battle with severe depression and substance abuse. The Australian tennis entertainer has spoken out about one of his darkest periods during the 2019 Australian Open. We are glad to know that he is working on himself and trying to find happiness because his fans love him. And there have been many events where he showed his fun and kind side. During a match, he once asked someone from the crowd where to serve. 
He went to thank them after winning the point. Some people suggest that he has the talent and he has the capability to win a Grand Slam, but he needs a better coach. Well, Nick Kyrgios has never worked with a coach. Kyrgios has even gone on record saying that tennis coaches are overpaid and that his career is too far gone to hire a coach. What do you guys think? Do you think he's got a Grand Slam in him? Do tell us in the comments. Nick has chosen a vegan lifestyle, saying in a post, I've been passionate about animal welfare for some time now. I don't eat meat or dairy anymore. That's not for my health. I just don't believe in eating animals. Charity Nick is the founder of the NK Foundation. The NK Foundation strives to create a safe environment where underprivileged youth can come to play the sports they want and seek shelter if necessary. The facility will include tennis courts, basketball courts, a pool, a gym, and dorms for children who do not have access to the sport they want to play. According to Nick, tennis players of his stature are paid well and there are many perks, but it feels empty if you are doing it just for the money. Nick Kyrgios also led the charity drive in Australia following the 2020 would donate $200 for each ace he hits this summer. Other tennis players also contributed to the cause, raising over 5 million Australian dollars. Controversies Our bad boy is always in controversies. Kyrgios dated model Chiara Passari in 2021, but the relationship didn't work out. According to media accounts, police were called to break up a fierce brawl between them in October last year and had to put them in different quarantine hotels. The charges against Kyrgios for allegedly assaulting Passari were made public later. He has complained about the most absurd things. He expressed dissatisfaction with the music at the 2016 Australian Open, which he said he could hear from the spectators. He broke two rackets at the 2017 French Open and asked to have a beer. I guess Nick really likes to enjoy a drink, and that is why he was reportedly seen drinking a night before an important match against Nadal at Wimbledon 2019. Girlfriend Nick has a lot of fans and loved ones cheering for him from the crowd and from his players' box at Wimbledon this year, and his girlfriend, Costine Hatsy, is one of them. Nick met Hatsy just months after his controversial breakup with Chiara Passari. Hatsy is a blogger based in Sydney who owns her own home decor company, Casa Amor Interiors. She has over 78,000 Instagram followers. Hatsy revealed through her Instagram how they both met. Nick saw an advertisement for a mirror posted on Hatsy's business account. Nick then slid into the DMs of the business account and then her personal account. When Nick went to pick up the mirror from her house, he revealed to Hatsy that he was actually interested in her and not in the mirror and asked her out. She also added that, as Nick would describe it, it was love at first sight. So this was all about Nick Curios. If we have missed something interesting, do tell us in the comments. By the way, Nick has revealed that he is working on his mental health and he is trying to open up with his loved ones, which is a great thing. What do you think? Will we see a different version of Nick? A Nick who doesn't smash rackets on the court? But you should smash the like button, the bell icon, and the subscribe button so that you don't miss any interesting videos. See you next time. Till then, bye!